Yo, this is so trippy, man. <laughs> Do you guys see this right now? Anyways, welcome back guys to another Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be talking about every Dokkan player's favorite subject in the entire world. Free Dragonstones and more specifically how many of them can we expect for this upcoming download celebration at the end of this month. Now the short answer to this question is a lot. There will be many many free stones up for grabs but the long answer is a little bit more difficult because obviously I can't give you guys an exact number because we still don't know you know what kind of events what kind of uh, campaigns Bandai has planned for us for this year's download celebration but what I can say with 90 to 95 percent certainty is that we can expect at least a minimum of a thousand free to play stones throughout the entire celebration between know the end of August to maybe the end of September beginning of October and believe it or not I'm not just pulling that number out of my butt okay I'm actually basing it off of last year's download celebration which was for 300 million downloads this year most likely it's gonna be 350 million downloads and according to the Dokkan wiki which usually is very accurate we got a grand total of 1,070 free stones during last year's download celebration between the live stream, the countdown campaign, and part one and part two. So it's split up between the different sections and it's throughout the entire campaign. So it's not like we're getting all those stones or we got all those stones, you know, as soon as it started. But yeah, man, once you broke everything down last year, and this is specifically on global, although I'm pretty sure JP got, you know, around the same. We got 1,070 free stones. And the reason that I think that this year we can expect something similar as far as the total stone count goes is because there's really nothing here that we can't reasonably expect to get this year as well. You know, obviously it could be a little bit different. It's going to be different kinds of content or different kinds of stages. But as far as the actual format of the celebration goes, I do think it's going to be very similar to last year, which means that as far as the rewards go, we should be expecting something very similar as well. So maybe not exactly 1,070 stones, maybe 1,050, maybe 1,100. Obviously, there is going to be some variance. Yo, my phone is going crazy right now. What's going on? Anyways, like I said, a ton of free stones up for grabs, most likely over 1,000. So for those of you that haven't been you know, following my advice recently and saving as hard as you possibly can for this download celebration, I mean, it's still not the best situation to go into it with no stones, but uh, the celebration's got you covered, okay? Now, for anybody that wants a quick refresher about how we actually got these stones last year, or maybe you're a fairly new player who hasn't actually been through one of these download celebrations, and you want to get an idea of what they look like, we are going to be doing a quick rundown here of all the sources of stones from last year that led up to this 1,070 total. Okay, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And it all started with the live stream here, which was hosted about a week and a half before the actual campaign started. It was run by some members of the Dokkan team, and they used it to basically reveal some upcoming characters, upcoming events, and just generally hype people up for the celebration and for this live stream we got a total of 50 dragon stones in our boxes and then we can move on to the countdown campaign here so for the countdown of course there was a login bonus which gave 10 stones in total there was also a new story event this uh androids in action story event which gave 19 stones there was a facebook campaign that gave 30 stones a returning campaign which gave a grand total of 40 stones, and then also a world tournament that happened at the same time that gave, of course, the standard 53 stones. I mean, it really depends on your local rewards, your local ranking, all that stuff, but around 50 or so stones. So you add all of those up for the countdown campaign, and that was 152 dragon stones. And like I said, there's no reason for us to expect that we won't be getting you know, all these things, a new story event, a Facebook campaign, a returning campaign, and all that stuff, right? So 150 stones right there, or 152, plus the 50 
from the live stream for a total of 202 so far. And then we move into the actual campaign, starting with part one, of course. And in part one, there was, of course, the login bonus, which gave 74 stones. There was the daily missions, which gave 36 stones. There was also part one missions, which gave 27 stones. And then there were also these eat up and fight missions, which were, I mean, essentially just more special missions, but clearing them every day gave an additional 10 stones a day for seven days. So that's a grand total of 70 stones from that. And then we have the Hercules tile breaking challenge, which was the global versus JP campaign that we have every single year. And I believe the actual event itself was kind of like another punching bag style event, but from this, we got a total of 35 stones. There was also a new Cell Saga story event, which is this one right here that gave 15 stones plus three for missions. And then a Cell game story event, which gave nine stones as well as three for missions. And then of course the Dokkan events for the two new Dokkan Fest LRs, the LR Gohan and the LR Cell uh, right here, which gave four stones. And then a big source of stones right here is the Super Battle Road stages. So we got part three for Super Battle Road stages 21 to 30 during last year's download celebration, which if you are able to clear all of them, gave 60 Dragon Stones. And uh, if you guys haven't heard, JP is actually gonna be getting new stages for Super Battle Road very soon. I'm not sure if it's gonna be happening before the download celebration, or maybe they're waiting to release them simultaneously on both Global and JP. I can't confirm or deny that, but I do think that regardless, even if JP gets them first, I do think that Global will get the new stages as well during the download celebration. So that's another 10 new stages, a new um, Battlefield LR, or sorry, Super Battle Road LR, and also 60 more stones. And then there was a new Boss Rush stage, which we are due for. I believe that would be stage number 11 so that's another 35 stones and uh, there was the ultimate chamber of spirit and time event which gave some elder kai's that was one stone for the first clear and then we have top grossing rewards now 100 stones in total from top grossing it was split between two separate you know distributions so 50 stones each time, 100 stones in total, and another 50 stones for the dual Dokkan Festival rewarding bonus, which essentially just amounts to thank you for all the money. And this was split between, I believe, 30 stones the first time and then 20 stones the second time. So 150 stones in total for just thank you slash top grossing rewards. And then there was a new virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash or Dokkan Battlefield that gave 31 stones like usual. So if you add everything up from part one from last year, it was 553 stones. And then we can move on to part two here. So here we go. For part two, there were less stones, which is normally the case since part one for any celebration is usually the most hype, but still a decent amount of stones for part two. So there were more special missions, which gave 19 stones. There was a community campaign, the Dende Dragon Ball Hunt, which gave 35 stones in total. And then there was the evolution of the Ultimate Life Form special event, which gave 15 stones. We have the Extreme Z area for the Goku and Gohan, as well as the Vegeta and Trunks, four stones for clearing, two more for the missions. And then there was also a special Extreme Z battle event with the perfect Cell boss. It was kind of like a raid boss event. We got 30 stones for clearing those stages and also two stages for infinite Dragon Ball history. Actually, I think these were, no, these were definitely the first two stages. So the event was brand new at the time. We had two stages for a grand total of 62 stones when you cleared all the missions. Now this year, I do think there is a decent chance we'll get one or two more new stages that are Boo Saga themed, or we might just straight up get a brand new event, even though I think that's less likely, but at least one or two more stages for Infinite Dragon Ball history, which would mean, you know, 31 to 62 stones from that. And then we also had another world tournament for part two. So there was a new world tournament for the countdown campaign and then another one for part two. 53 more free stones there. And then top grossing for the LR Androids uh, Legendary Summon Banner. 
35 stones from the Supreme Battle Challenge, which was related to the uh, Cell raid boss where we had to work together to kill Cell. And once we took down all his HP and killed him, then we got 35 stones as well as a new wallpaper with the Gohan, which in my opinion is still one of the best wallpapers we have in the game. It's, it's pretty nice. And uh, finally, a Facebook campaign, Cell Bingo, uh, which is just like your standard, you know, Facebook campaign for 30 stones. And that was the image for the Cell Bingo. So in total, 315 stones for part two, 553 for part one, 152 for the countdown, 50 for the live stream. Add all that up, do the quick maths, that's 1,070. Dragon Stones from last year's download celebration. And of course, the purpose of this video was to use the data from last year to help us, you know, predict how many stones we can get for this year. And I do think that we can expect something very similar for this year's 350 million download celebration. Because as I said, man, there's really nothing here that we can't expect to get again. Obviously, different kinds of story events, different themed, and all that stuff, but you know, the actual format of the celebration should be pretty similar. The rewards should be pretty similar. So guys, expect a lot of stones, most likely over a thousand, maybe even more than we got last year, but probably not less. So yeah, overall, it should be a really good time. And that's all I got to say for today's video. Hope you guys are excited for this upcoming download celebration. And of course, once more information comes out about you know, the specific units we're getting, their details, new events, uh, when the live stream's gonna be, and all that stuff. I'll make sure to keep you guys in the loop in an upcoming video. But for now, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.